look outside my window here, you can see I now have the Starlink mounted on the edge of my roof and I'm getting slightly better performance. And uh, yeah, overall things are working really well. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I installed it on my roof, nearly fell off, busted my testicles, and uh, yeah, but eventually got the job done. Check the timeline out if you wanna jump through to different bits. And at the end of the video, I'll talk to you about how it's performing now. It's mounted on the roof and I'm using the ethernet uh, adapter to plug it into my own network and use my Unify wireless access points. Okay, so it's been a few days since I set up the Starlink on the patio and in general, it's been working really well, much better than the broadband option I could get. I am seeing somewhat intermittent speeds depending on the kind of time of day. Check about half past six in the morning, I'm getting, I guess the full, you know, 270 meg down or whatever. Uh, but then later on in the day, I'm getting around 40 to 60. It seems a bit varied. I think it may be due to the access point temporary position and interference and things. So today, I'm doing the thing I hate. I'm going up ladders on a roof and uh, going to mount the long armed mounting bracket. So let me show you what's in the box, what I'm going to be doing in terms of my approach and uh, and you can watch and hope I don't fall down. Okay, so this is the bracket. So basically you mount this on the wall like this. So the cables can be kind of put down in the middle here and then dip down the little hole. And there's this plastic clip on bracket that basically you clip underneath there. Um, so it looks nice and tidy. You get these two 10 mil anchor bolts. So I'm gonna use some 10 mil raw plugs for that to go into the brickwork. And you get this little temporary kind of, uh, what's the word for it, template. So that um, when you're up the ladder, you can do the, the hole positioning without having to carry everything up. We'll get onto that in a moment. In here, are a load of little fixing clips that you can use um, to tidy the cables up. I probably won't need those. And then this is a little bag that basically you can put the, the starting dish in to help you carry it up the ladder. I'm probably not going to use that. I'm going to put everything, well, I'm going to do it into a couple of stages, everything in the rucksack so I can take the drill up there and my drill bits, etc. And then the other thing I'm going to be doing, it's a bit different, on the uh, end where the access point is, it's an L-shaped bracket or um, adapter even. And so you'd need like a one inch hole um, to put that through. But just here on the dish end, if you pull that back, you can see here, there's just a straight plug. And so that's 16 mil. So I'm gonna hopefully do a 16 mil hole that I can poke that through from the loft end and then set things up. We shall see. So this is my temporary setup. So one ladder up to the roof onto another ladder. It's got some kind of hooks over the, the ridge tile, which I got from Screwfix. And now I'm gonna do what I hate doing, climbing up there and trying to drill. If you see me fall, please call someone to help. Okay, so here I go. Wish me luck. Ugh. Just make sure I've got nothing. Keep that dial in my pockets. Oh, I'm probably gonna ruin my gutter here. Not ideal. Whoa, okay, that was fun.
Uh. Arm up. See how we get on. Okay. Oh man, I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> if you haven't done already, please like and subscribe. Why is my drum not working? This is quite uncomfortable. that anymore. I really should be wearing some messy clothes. Okay. You know what I forgot? Bloody socket set. Boy. Which obviously means ah, I can't do the bolts up. Okay, so what I'm going to do, ask them up here, is pop this on. Now I come back up with the socket set. Maybe the antenna, stuff like this, or whatever it's called. I really don't want to do this three times. Oh dear. Uh, well, I didn't want any more children. I, oh, my nuts. Oh. I really hope that hole on the other side is in a place I can actually get to. Right. Let's get down somehow. Okay, right. All right, get some tape, get the roll plugs, try and poke that through, and I'll be back. Ugh. So get down, what's in my bloody pocket? Right, I'm gonna run the cable, I think it fits through the hole. I think I'm gonna go up, sort the cable out, and then I'll come back down and get the dish. Like I can subscribe if you haven't done already. Risking life and limb here. Okay, I'm about to go back up. I decided I'm going to use the Starlink bag thing. I mean, they can design rockets that land themselves, right? They must be able to design a bag that's not going to disappear. So I put that on. Like that. And I've got my sockets 
in my pocket even though i had the socket um earlier i don't think i had the right um, socket end on because i was doing another job so i got that and got the plastic uh, housing the cable's already been pushed through and i have the silicon to silicon the hole and i have some rubber gloves somewhere so i don't get silicon all over myself but uh yeah let's jump up again hopefully it's less dramatic this time do things up and then uh hopefully it'll be all good to go Again, right, gut is already busted, so that should be okay. Go onto here, onto this bit. Oh, okay, that's just going under the tile there. Not great. Ooh. Just want to get out the top now. Without dropping the dish, without killing myself. Ugh. Right, keep that back there. Crush the testicles again. Ugh. 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 It's actually better when I had the. Uh, The rucksack. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Let's get the sockets out. Right. What size? Should have test the size before I went up. Ah, good guess though. Right. Whew. I got this done. Put the dish on. So I hope you found that somewhat interesting, but now the bit you're probably waiting for is how is the speed? So first of all, the good news is that the speed is pretty consistent now. So I'm, I'm definitely convinced that the access point of the Starlink was causing some of my issues, but I'm regularly getting somewhere between 190 to 200 and something um, megabits per second down, uh, pretty much consistently all through the day, as opposed to um, variable speeds at different time of the day uh, and upload somewhere between 90 to 22 uh, megabits per second. So working really well. Obviously it's been super cold. I've had the snow and everything here as well. I've not um, got the Starlink plugged into an energy monitor, but it has been remaining clear of snow. I think partly of that is due to the angle where the snow can just creep off it, but it is able to heat up as well if it gets kind of too snowy and obviously it's been like minus 12 here where i am in the uk so it's it's coping really well and it hasn't actually impacted the performance too much at all i haven't been able to do it yet because i don't have um, any machines uh, hard cable to my network so i have not been able to do a direct ethernet performance test um, looking online obviously people tend to get uh, a bit faster because obviously you do have um, some latency and reduced performance with the wi-fi but I will put a pinned comment down below when I get a chance to connect up a computer to Ethernet, not over wireless, to my Switch. But yeah, really happy with Starlink. Um, we'll see how it continues to go. As I mentioned in the first part of the video, 
if you can get fiber broadband, you want fiber broadband, but if you're in a more rural location where internet options um, are limited, then definitely consider Starlink. I've now had my first bill for the 75 pounds per the month. Everything you know, seems to be working well. Someone did ask in a comment about um, fixed IP address. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be a fixed IP address, but I've not yet had it change. Um, so I am providing some internet services from home um, out via the IP address. So for me, it is working if you want to be able to share Plex or, or file transfers or anything with uh, friends and colleagues. So any questions you have, please leave them down below in the comments and I will respond back to them. If there's any questions you have about Starlink, I can do a follow-up video. Again, sorry, these videos continue to be a little bit rushed uh, week by week at the moment because um, I only just realized the time and running from outside, digging a hole, um, trying to work out a trench to run an uh, ethernet cable for my Powerwall 2 in its new location, but it's absolutely freezing still. So thanks so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please like it and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Take care of yourself. I will get one video out um, for Christmas, hopefully, but if I don't catch you on the next one, have a great Christmas and I'll catch you in the new year. That's it, bye for now.